delete all your editing software because this might be the end for video editors like me. Google just dropped something that completely changes the editing game. It's called VO 3.1, and what it can do is insane. <laughs> Trust me, you haven't seen anything like this before. With this new AI model, you can now create high-quality motion graphics in minutes using this new workflow I discovered. And I'm telling you, this is going to shock a lot of video editors. Because what if I told you that the visual you're watching right now took me only one minute to create? Normally, motion graphics like this would cost hundreds of dollars to make. Now, it's just one click. Done. And here's the crazy part. This isn't just for video editors anymore. Anyone can jump in. No skills, no experience needed. The reason almost nobody has tried this yet isn't because they didn't want to. It's because the tools simply couldn't do the job. Until now. Most creators pay hundreds for high quality visuals. This one, for example, cost me $50. But then I tried generating the same style with AI. And as you see, the result, almost identical. This exact same style of motion graphic took me just a few minutes to create. To be honest, the quality is shockingly close to what professional designers charge for. So in this video, we'll show you how to reach this pro level. We'll start at beginner, move to medium, then professional. It starts simple, but wait till you see what's next. So for the next example, I used a website called Jitter. For those who don't know, it's basically a library of customizable motion graphics. My question, can VO recreate some of these cool motion graphics? So let's test it with recreating this subscribe button animation. To start, I created a simple setup by generating two images. This image I'll give the AI as begin frame and this one as the end frame. I'll also test it with just a single begin frame to compare. And guess what? It actually recreated the motion graphic perfectly. The movement, the easing, yeah, I could use this in my video, definitely. But I feel this motion graphic isn't complex enough. So let's take it a step further on what VO3 actually can make. For the next test, I'll be using Auto AE. Just like Jitter, it's a platform with a huge library of customizable motion graphics. So as I scrolled through it for a bit, I found this motion graphic you see here. Yes, it's the same one we used earlier in the video, but this time I'm going to show you step by step how I recreated it. First, I took a quick screenshot of the motion graphic and then went straight into ChatGPT. Here, you'll need a GPT model called Image Recreation Pro. I use it all the time to recreate visuals. And honestly, it's one of the best GPTs out there for matching the same style. All you have to do is drop the screenshot into the GPT, hit send, and let it process. Within a few seconds, it analyzes the image, detects the design, and generates a complete JSON prompt that describes every visual detail. Now copy that prompt and head over to Higgs Field. Here, go to the Image tab and select the Seed Dream 4 model. In my opinion, it's one of the most powerful models available right now. So just go ahead, paste the JSON prompt you copied earlier, and click Generate. Also, I would recommend getting unlimited generations on Higgs Field. It's very convenient for me. So after a few minutes, you'll see multiple results. Some are decent, some are great. But this one right here stood out the most. But we're not finished yet. We also need a blank frame, the same background without any elements. So I asked Seadream again, this time using a simple prompt. Delete all elements and turn it into a plain background. As you see, it worked perfectly. Now we have both images ready, the start frame and the end frame. The next step is to create a clear prompt that will bring the AI motion graphic to life. We'll start right here inside ChatGPT. On the GPT Explorer page, search for a GPT called Motion Graphic Engineer and start a chat with it. So here's how it works. Just upload a reference image. I do two images for this example, the start frame and the end frame. Then once they're uploaded, you'll give a short explanation of what you want the motion to look like. Now instead of typing, Record yourself, it's better. I literally close my eyes and visualize the animation I want. Whatever I see in my mind, I describe out loud using the microphone on my phone. Don't overthink it or worry about sounding correct. This GPT will take your spoken words and transform them into a working motion prompt. Once you're done describing your idea, just send it. And as you can see, it generates a detailed prompt. Create a motion graphic starting on a dark background with soft purple light gradients, and so on. Now copy that prompt, because that's the one we'll use. Now go back to Higgs Field. Navigate to Video and select Google VO 3.1. Here, upload your start frame plus your end frame, 
paste in the prompt, and then click Generate. And this is where Unlimited Mode really shines. I just keep generating, not worrying about credits. It goes up to eight generations though. So after a few minutes, I got several results. And wow, I really like these. I feel all the generations turned out really well. For real, this could be made by a real motion design studio. The motion is smooth, the flow is clean, and then look at this one, that nice bouncing effect. I like that. It makes it a lot more alive. And also listen to the sound design. The generated sound matches perfectly with the movement. The only down part is that the motion graphic might look a bit downscaled, but that's not a problem. If you want to make your motion graphics look even sharper, you can upscale them to improve the quality. To do this, go to the video tab and click on Video Upscale. Upload the motion graphic you created in Higgs Field. Then, click Upscale. As you can see, the motion graphic now looks much sharper and more professional than before. Now here is where it gets even more interesting. I actually paid a human editor to create one of the motion graphics we have been talking about. So let me know in the comments which one you think was better, the human editor or the AI. Now let us talk about money. So I went on Fiverr and asked a random seller how much it would cost to create the same motion graphic. He replied with a price of $100 for just one motion graphic. Now let us do the math. When I subscribe to an AI platform like Higgs Field, and let's say I'm going for the pro plan that costs me around $30 per month, assuming not every generation will be perfect, I include a few lost credits along the way. But even with that, you can still generate around five solid motion graphics per month for clients with the method I showed you in this video. So let's say I sell those five for $100, then I'm left with $470 in profit. That is a big profit margin for something that no longer requires advanced editing skills. It is quick money, easy to scale, and perfect for beginners. Find every tool we used in the description below. Go check it now, and don't forget to follow our socials.